The extra fight GPZ won or the Rocket Jump Ninja Mousepad has received quite negative reviews from what I've seen. But I don't know, I'm quite enjoying the mousepad myself, so let's go check out my thoughts. Like everybody else, I pretty much had the same issue with the base, that it did not lay flat when I got it, but reverse rolling did the trick and it's pretty much flat on my desk. There are still some bumps on the sides, nothing that bad. Other than that, the base is very good as it does not move on my desk at all. The base is stiff, which is good for a mousepad that is this slow. With this surface, I feel that anything softer would ruin the consistency and the feel. The stitching seems to be pretty much the same as on GP4, it's not on the level of the lethal gaming gear pads or the artisan pads, it's good enough where I don't get any irritation when I plant my arm on the mouse pad, but I definitely can feel. In terms of quality, it's pretty much the same as all the other extra 5 pads. It's good, but it's not amazing like the artisan pads or the little gaming gear Saturn that I have here. The price is 35 bucks, and if you have to pay shipping on top of that, the end up cost gets scary close to an artisan pad. And even without shipping, the pad costs more than the Jupiter, which has somewhat similar characteristics, but the Jupiter is worse for flick shots and better for dragging, I would say. The surface itself is actually pretty interesting as it's a very slow pad, which I was not expecting from a Quake player. As Quake for me has always been quite tracking heavy because I only play dual and I'm not very good with rockets. At the end of the day, Rocket Jump Ninja does use a small lightweight mouse, so it does make sense for me that he would want more control from the surface. With your skin, the surface feels very smooth and there is no drag whatsoever. Which is good because if your palm is touching the mouse pad while you game, you should not get any additional friction for that. Which is interesting to me because the consistency of some mouse pads is absolutely ruined for me because of the additional friction your skin can cause with the surface. Through the mouse feed, then again the feeling changes significantly depending on the kind of feet you have. For example with the stock super light feet it feels extremely muddy for me and I wouldn't like to use it at all. With the prime mini wireless it does feel significantly better and the same thing applies to vac mice and even the zowie feet. But the best glide you get is with something that has pure PTFV feet that are quite small like in the hard ES for example. Or the ultralight chew. This is actually four small feet and I've replaced the stock ones with Tiger Arc 2s and it has way less friction with this combination than any of the other ones that I've tried. What makes this pad quite unique is the fact that it has a lot of static friction but once you get the mouse moving there is not that much dynamic friction. This of course applies to almost all the mouse pads that have a lot of static friction, but nowhere near to this extent from my experience. This mouse pad is by far the most specific to certain kind of mouse feet and certain kind of games than any other pad that I've tried. Tracking with a large mouse that has large feet, for example like the Rocket Cone Pro Air, does not feel good at all, especially if the target is switching directions quickly. But with something like the Hard S or the Ultralight 2, I can make it work. To me, it almost feels like this mouse pad was chosen by some tech FPS professional player who plays with a very low sensitivity because it is very good for flicking and it's also very easy to control spray but like you see in this clip it's very hard for me to track something close range micro adjusting feels absolutely horrible for me with anything else than the ultralight 2 and i usually want to tap these headshots in csgo and go for one taps but with this mouse pad i do have to go for those sprays because i can't really make those micro adjustments that well context in my opinion in a review is very very important because i completely understand that somebody who plays tracking heavy games will absolutely absolutely hate this mouse pad. But this was not designed for tracking which is quite weird because this is designed by Rocket Jump Ninja and he plays Quake and Quake can be a very tracking heavy game so the marketing for this pad is pretty much a mess in my opinion. For example the feedback would be a lot different if this mouse pad was chosen by Tens who was just signed by Extrafy and his attack FPS card. Everybody has their own opinion and that's the beauty of YouTube because there are so many gaming gear reviewers and you should always watch many different reviews for a product because YouTube videos can be very very subjective. So yeah, I myself do think that this mousepad definitely has a niche of people that can use it and can enjoy it. Not many good options on the mudpad scene for DAC FPS, but the GPZ one does seem to be one of the better ones and it's very consistent in my opinion. The ultimate downside for this mousepad in my opinion are those micro adjustments and that's why this is not a top control pad for me. And neither is the Zowie GSR, but look at how many CSGO pros are using it. I think this mousepad can be great for you guys who play CSGO or Valorant or any other game that is quite low TTK and is flick based. Not my choice at all for games like Apex or Warzone or any other game that has tracking. It's the most optimal for those who use a low sensitivity and a small or a lightweight mouse. As small movements in game with low sensitivity mean that you need to move your mouse a little bit more on your mouse pad. And that of course means that something that looks like a micro adjustment in game might not be a micro adjustment on your mouse pad 
as you need to move your mouse a little bit more. This is what I mean when I said that context is very important in a review. That's why I always try to make it clear for you guys that you know what kind of gear and what kind of settings I'm using with a mouse or a mouse pad. I mean, obviously someone with a Starlight 12 who plays Valorant and CSGO might really enjoy this mouse pad. And then again, some boomer might actually hate this mouse pad if he plays Quake and uses the Razer Death V2 Pro. That's pretty much it for this one. Check this video right here if you want to see some of my favorite mouse pad in the Lethal Gaming Gear Roundup. The Venus, in my opinion, is one of the best pads available at the moment. And check this one right here for my Artisan Zero review, which is of course a top control pad as well. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you enjoy my content, hit that subscribe button and see you in the next one.